I'm going to introduce our speaker today, David Bassett. He has been here for 21 years uh, helping Dr. Baugh. And those of you that have been around for a long time, you know Dr. Baugh will will say something extremely scientific and then I'll go, is that right, David? Because David's usually back there at the desk. And uh, he's like his, he's Dr. Baugh's Google is what he is. He's been a Christian educator for 31 years, uh, degrees, bachelor's and master's in, in geology. He's a geologist and a Christian science teacher. I'm David Bassett. Um, I've been here at the museum for 21 and a half plus years <clears throat> since March of 1996. Uh, came to the museum and uh, was interested in the research that was being done here. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Ba was interested in my master's thesis. I was interested in his doctoral dissertation, so we switched papers <clears throat> there. And then uh, after he read mine, I got a phone call saying, I need somebody with a master's degree to <clears throat> answer questions at the counter, to answer the technical email. You know, he has a really busy schedule, didn't have time to do all that. And I said, I'd be glad to do that. <clears throat> uh, I was also at the same time. Uh, working as a uh, full-time Christian educator in Christian schools. I've uh, worked in four different Christian schools now and have been in the classroom for over 31 years uh, in Christian education. I'm also the uh, president of the Metroplex Institute of Origin Science, um, MIOS, or MIOS, we use that um, acronym for, for shorter purposes there. So the MIOS president for about nine years now. Nine years actually this month. Um, nine years ago, Dr. Don Patton, a geology um, uh, PhD, one of our consultants uh, who also hunts for, the, for Noah's Ark on Mount Ararat, uh, started the MEOS organization um, in uh, Dallas and has been keeping it alive for years after years after years. And then uh, nine years ago, he asked me to be a guest speaker for the December talk after the message was uh, finished. Uh, he comes up to me and he says, I'm just going to have to give it to you. Puts his hands on my shoulders. I'm just going to have to give it to you. And uh, with a smile on his face, he's really energetic. He was all pumped up. And I thought, I'm going I'm to get a Christmas present. <laughs> and instead, I, I said, what is it? Well, I'm going to give you the organization because my wife and I, we're moving to the Houston area there. And I've got to leave the organization with someone. And I can't think of any even better to leave it with. And I was just mortified, uh, <clears throat> just paralyzed with kind of with fear. Like, the whole thing is going to collapse now. It's going to be all my fault. Um, but God is faithful, and God has uh, seen fit to uh, lead me to speakers month after month after month for nine years now. Um, and uh, we have a great speaker coming up Tuesday night, uh, Dr. Jeffrey Tompkins from the Institute for Creation Research. He's done the research comparing uh, human DNA and, and the human uh, genome. Um, with chimp DNA. And we typically hear in classrooms that human and chimp DNA is about 98% similar. And you can see where that would go from an evolutionary perspective, can't you? Um, but the actual truth of the matter is it's probably no more than 85%. It may actually be much lower than that. Um, there is a story behind the story that, uh, with, where the rest of the facts don't bear out this 98% similarity at all. There is some similarity, of course, because anatomically, we're built similarly. Uh, uh, different body parts have the same functions in chimps and in humans. And if you're an architect or an engineer, um, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. You know? And if it works, if it functions, then you keep that form there. Uh, but the, it's not really the similarities, it's the, it's the differences that make all the difference. And um, rather than saying, well, this is, this is evidence for a common ancestor, you can look at the same evidence from a creation point of view and say, no, it's evidence for a common designer there. Um, and so uh, we'll be having Dr. Jeffrey Tompkins speak Tuesday night. It's open to the public. It's free of charge there. We meet in Farmer's Branch, um, the Dr. Pepper Star Center, their conference center. If you're traveling north on Interstate 35, uh, north of Dallas to Farmer's Branch, you want to take the Valley View exit, and then uh, it's the first building you see on the exit, the big American flag. There, we meet on the second floor of the Dr. Pepper Star Center at 7.30 there, okay? Anyway, just want to make that invitation open to you. Tuesday. Tuesday nights, every first Tuesday night. Um, we have the live lectures here at the museum every first Saturday, which is what today is, and every first Tuesday we have the uh, MEOS meetings uh, open also. So different ways you can get creation science instruction and, uh, and help build your faith.
Today's first Saturday, and we're here at the Creation Evidence Museum. And Dr. Ba is not here uh, to give the lecture, and so he kind of tapped me uh, to do that, and I'm happy to do that. Dr. Ba is in Fiji, on the island of Fiji, the nation of Fiji. Uh, left Tuesday uh, to do uh, uh, just continuation of missionary work that he started over 40 years ago. Um, <clears throat> The Gospels, uh, well, the book of Acts says in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, that, we will, that you shall be my witnesses into Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the uttermost part of the earth. And Dr. Ba took that literally and said, okay, Jerusalem, he turned the globe there. What's on the opposite side of the globe from Jerusalem? And that's Fiji <laughs> there. And so over 40 years ago, he went there and established the first Baptist church, the first Christian institution on the island of Fiji. And he's reaping the fruit of that labor uh, four decades uh, now. So uh, last year, the uh, heads of state of Fiji gave permission for King James Bibles to be given to every public school student and teacher in the nation there. A major, major breakthrough. Uh, this year, uh, Dr. Ba is distributing uh, this great creation science devotional book, 366 short little lessons, one for each day of the year, including uh, Leap Day. There, and this is a hardback, uh, bright color, glossy pages there, a fantastic book. We have a sample back down on the counter if you're interested to helping us support this effort there. But every public school student will be getting one of these also. And um, it looks like from reports coming out of Fiji, these are the only two books some students own. Is this is going to be this book and the King James Bible. Okay. So, <coughs> and both of those. Uh, this museum has had a part in playing, uh, making sure those get distributed. Is English so, a um, I've heard of something called Fijian. I'm not sure how different that is or um, what, but uh, I think Dr. Ba is actually using a translator while he's there. Uh, Danny DeLuna, who normally sings to get us started on Live Lecture Saturday, he's over there as well. So he's blessing others with his, uh, with his voice talent.